Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Zach James W soon here. Guys, in today's video, we finally decided to make a video on my gaming slash streaming setup. Everyone always asks me what my setup looks like. They want to see what the setup is, what is in the setup, you know, everything. Because I mean, you guys technically only see this, you know, you guys only see this. So I finally decided to make the video. Um, this gaming setup has been developed over the years. Um, COVID is probably when I put a lot into the setup because at that point in time, I didn't go out. So I literally just saved any penny that I got and I put it into the gaming setup because I mean, what else was there to do? Hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo guys, so this is the gaming setup tour that everyone's been asking me for. Everyone always asks me, yo Zach, what's your gaming setup look like? Give us a tour of your room. And this is pretty much as a preview of what I'm gonna dive into. So we're going to start on the right and then move to the left and then we'll show you the nitty gritties that you can't maybe see over here. So first up, we have the Samsung 40 inch smart TV, which I got for 5,500 Rand. Um, then over here, we have our Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. Really good pair of wireless earphones, probably the best wireless earphones I've ever used. Um, it's like the first wireless earphones that I can say that sound like they have bass in it and bass I usually only used to get from headphones so it's really good I use it when I go to gym quite a lot and it has surround sound which you can enable on and off I mean not surround sound uh, noise suppression it has noise suppression you can which you can enable on and off then over here we have our scaf impact I bought this for like a thousand eight hundred rand I actually got it on a discount because they messed up my shipping order but I think the scaf impact now goes to like three thousand rand then we have my fully customized mag controller this costed 4,300 Rand. It is a paddled controller, so it has paddles. I fully customized it. It has digital triggers, digital bumpers, um, and all that juicy stuff. And they do customize logo designs on your controllers. So this is my custom logo and my custom design that I sent them. Uh, then we have the normal PS5 Glacier white controller, which comes with the PS5. Oops. And then we have my blue ps5 controller which i recently bought um cost me a thousand five hundred rand then we have a blue ps4 controller which i bought for a thousand bucks when i had a ps4 um because I always had people coming over or I, like my controllers always were broken and trust me i did not smash controllers and then over here we have my work phone which is the samsung galaxy s9 plus then over here we have the beautiful playstation 5 um disc edition this costed me like this cost me 12,000 rand and i believe the digital edition is 10,000 rand i think it's more expensive now i actually pre-ordered mine so i bought it for its actual price and not these extremely high prices or slightly overpriced prices that stores are selling them for i saw some stores are selling them for 14k or like 12 and a half almost 13k that's not the original price the original price is 12 and that's how much i bought it for then over here we have our headphones this is the astro a40s and this is the mix amp together it's the astro 40s with the mix amp pro uh the headphones alone is 3100 and i believe this is like 2k but there's a newer version uh this is actually a new pair of headphones that i bought and this original bundle actually costed like 4000 rand plus it is one of the best headphones I've ever used. I've had many headphones over the years and this is the only headphones that I've ever bought twice. And it's, you know, it's pricey, but it's really good. It has a lot of audio um, functionalities. It's actually connected to my PlayStation and my PC and I can hear audio from both the PlayStation and the PC at the same time or isolate each of the audios. So it's pretty much like having two headphones in one. And that's why I love this headset so much because it actually works with my setup. And then we have the PC. The PC is a pre-built PC from EveTech. It cost me 27K, but we have added things over the years to improve it. Because obviously pre-builds, uh, when I got a pre-built, I didn't know what pre-builds were about. I just saw the nice things and I was like, okay, but pre-builds aren't the way to go. You generally want to build your own PC with the parts that you know. Um, and yeah, but anyways, let's get into it. So we have uh, 32 gigabytes of Trident Z Neo RAM. That's 3,600 megahertz CL18, which cost me 4,100 Rand, which I added. Then we have the NZXT, the Kraken NZXT, uh, X53, 240 millimeter AIO, which cost me 2,500 Rand, which I added. 
Um, then underneath we have the CPU, which is a Ryzen 7 5800X3D, which cost me 6,000 Rand, 6,200 Rand, which I also added. Then we have the Hike Vision SSD, which is found in 12 gigabytes, which came with the pre-built. A 2070 Super, which came with the pre-built. And then we have added here a Samsung 970 Evo plus one terabyte, which costed me 1,600 Rand. And then we have the Elgato 4K Capture MK2 Pro um, capture card, which costs like 6,000 Rand, but I bought for 4K on discounts. I think on like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I just now I bought it for a mad discount. Um, and then also we have a Western Digital Blue uh, one terabyte hard drive installed, just costing me a thousand rand. Yeah, that is the PC build. Oh wait, wait, wait. Also, we have the MSI X570A Pro motherboard, as you can see, and the case is the EveTech Trio. It's a very nice case. Like I can't lie, it's one of the nicest cases I've seen. And then the power supply is the Game DS Kratos 750 watt power supply. So yeah, that is the PC built and let's get on to the monitors so the first monitor we have here is the dial 27 inch 60 hertz monitor which cost me 3300 rand then we have my main monitor which is an lg ultra gear 27 inch gaming monitor which is 144 hertz one millisecond response time g-sync compatible um and has an ips panel literally the the juiciest things you could ever want in a monitor it has it all besides the g-sync part it's just g-sync compatible not actually you know g-sync but yeah that is that monitor my main monitor and it costed six thousand rand then here is my third monitor my first monitor ever actually and it is a samsung s24 24 inch monitor which is 60 hertz and curved and this costed 2600 Rand. Then over here we have my second mic, which is the Five Fine T669 microphone, which costs it a thousand rand. It's a very good microphone, a very good budget microphone if you want to use it for streaming. And it comes with a nice deal, a nice package deal where you get a microphone arm, you get a pop filter, and all that good stuff. Then we have my main mic, which is the Samsung C01U Pro studio mic. And use this when I stream. Uh, we have a pop filter, the Rode mic arm, which costed 2,200 Rand. And then we have my webcams. We have the Logitech webcam, which cost me like 800 bucks. And then we have this webcam, which is the Hike Vision 1080p webcam. And guess how much this one cost? This costed 600 bucks. Now I know what you're saying 800 and 600. Logitech overpriced this webcam. I don't know what webcam this is called. This thing costed 800 bucks and it's only a 720p webcam whereas this is 600 and it's 1080p and it looks 10 times better than this 10 times better but yeah highly recommend if you're a streamer looking for a webcam 600 bucks it's a steal get it now if you want a webcam but yeah that's that then onto the keyboard which is a black widow black widow elite which costed 2000 rand it is really nice it has multimedia keys over here a wrist wrist which is the best thing ever invented for keyboards and super cool RGB functions. And I think it's green switches on these. Then we have the Razer Death Adder Elite mouse, which costs like 1,600 Rand, I believe. Lovely mouse, best mouse I've ever used. My original mouse is a Cougar mouse, which is super heavy. And this one is just in comparison, super light, super quick and super nice. Then we have the Z506 surround sound speaker system, which is put all around the setup. This costed 1,600 Rand as well. And then we have this, which is a foot pedal. And this helps a lot when I'm streaming and trying to talk to people in game at the same time, because I play on controller, I can't really have a push to talk. And that is my push to talk, which costed me like a thousand bucks. I know it's expensive, but I bought it off Amazon. So shipping was like 500. So the original price is taking me really 500 bucks. Then if you come over here, we have my RGB floodlight. This cost me 250 on special, but it goes to like 450. And then we have our Razer X gaming chair, which goes for 3000 Rand. Um, really nice gaming chair. It's my first ever gaming chair. Uh, I had an old office chair before this. 
and it's super comfortable it even has a leg rest which you can like extend from the bottom um and yeah it's a really nice chair and then onto the juicy bits on the stuff that you can't see so you guys obviously saw this cable running up here there's a reason for that so if we go down here we actually have a vr headset this cost me like seven thousand rand i bought off amazon it's super fun to play um it's literally like the future it's super sick and yeah that is my vr headset that i bought from amazon then finally we have this which is literally priceless it has the signed autographs per se from optic members uh from i think black ops 3 when black ops 3 was released uh crimson stashy karma scumpy and tj halley i did not get the signatures personally myself uh, it was actually a gift to me from my brother he took part in the call of duty open bracket and he represented south africa and he got to meet the main stage teams and this was a team he had signed uh signatures from so yeah this is actually priceless super sick uh and it's mine so yeah then we have this which is you know where i sleep up there as you can see it's a bit messy but it's super hard to clean up my bed since it's above the ground and i have to literally climb up but yeah we have the desk here for water and my phone to go and a lamp for night time and then we have my showcase technically where we have the five fun bundle i was telling you about this cost at a thousand and you get all of that we have some trophies and you know some monuments over there my camera south african flag you know got to represent then we have 31 monster cans here thanos funko pop some ps4 and a ps5 game some gamer juice and, uh, you know a lot of light and yeah that is the room aircon a couch my backyard and yeah that is the gaming setup i hope you guys enjoyed and if there's anything i missed let me know oh my days and then over here we have our stream deck this costs like two and a half thousand rand or two thousand i think but it goes to like over 3k now uh, this is a really good in investment if you're super into being productive on the computer It gives you a bunch of hotkeys uh, and you know Shortcuts to get you know, things done a lot quicker, but it's really good buy It is a bit pricey now, but when I bought it, I think 2k was a solid price But yeah, that is the stream deck um, And yeah, that is pretty much everything there is That is the room, that is the setup tour Give you a little last glance again and yeah, if there's anything out that I missed or anything you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you've made it all the way here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, have a good one.